Hey everybody, my name is Damian Horn. I am a product manager here at AJA Video Systems, and I am in the studio to talk about a brand new feature that we have for our award-winning Dante AV 4K T and Dante AV 4K R encode decode products. So uh, I thought, what better way to talk about it but then just dive into the Dante controller software and look at the plugins and I can tell you all about the new features that we've added in there. So the first one that we got asked a ton about uh, was do you support HDR? And we're happy to say, yes, we do now. So with this plugin, when you look in here, you can see that I'm sending it uh, in the color info and the video code stream status. You can see we've got a HLGBT2020 signal. And uh, let me just back up one minute. Um, when we dive into Dante controller here, the way you access these plugins and controls, there's a few different ways to do it, but you just double click right here on the device that you want to open up. And then it opens up this window and then you click on AJA config over here. And now you're in the plugin able to see what kind of signals coming in and out of your devices, as well as make some of these changes and take advantage of some of these great features. So the first one we're going to talk about is HDR. And if you look over here to the right of my screen, you can see uh, I've got two signals coming in. The bold one is what I've selected is the SDI. And down here in the color information, we've got uh, an HLG BT 2020 signal coming in. And then if you look over here on the R device, you can see on the output status that we're, we are sending that same HLG BT 2020 uh, out the HDMI output as well as the SDI output there. Now, if you needed to change that, you could hop down into the video output control and you can see the SD HDR right here is on auto and you've got some different options there to, to choose from as well as the colorometry controls. Another feature I wanna talk about is also in the video output control since we're there, is this crop scale selection. And what this does, it allows you to take, you know, say you're working in a, a you've got a 4K source and you need to crop that down to a UHD for, you know, whatever recording monitor, switcher, whatever you might need to use that for. Uh, you can do that right here with the crop 4K to UHD. Or maybe you have a UHD source that you need to get down to an HD signal because you're sending one you know, to a 4K UHD monitor, but you gotta go into an HD switcher. So you can do that right here just by selecting that. Another option you might've noticed right down here in the video output control is a third feature we're really excited about and that is reference in support. Something that's key to note about this, if you look over here on the transmit side, uh, is that we've selected broadcast as our compression profile, um, which is necessary for using reference in on this device, which is great for our broadcast customers who need to take the signal in from Dante AV over you know, a long ethernet run and they're bringing it into their studio or truck or, or whatever, and they've got uh, other devices inside there that are all locked to gen lock and they can get that all on the same clock there. We're using an AJA Gen 10 right now to feed this. And uh, so it's coming in broadcast. If you were an ultra low latency, uh, you would be getting that ultra low subframe latency, which is great for your live iMag purposes, but uh, you would have to use the free run as your gen lock source there instead of the, the reference in. There's two more features I wanna talk about. Uh, one is that we also got asked a lot about uh, supporting Dante Domain Manager, which we now do in this release, this version 1.1 release. And Dante Domain Manager opens up a ton of different possibilities uh, as you're expanding and growing your, your Dante AV system of being able to control access to certain devices. You don't want anybody messing with your audio settings from your Dante audio mixer. You just want this person to be able to route your video or vice versa or you know, locked off by rooms or whether it's uh, now having access to API and be able to configure third-party devices to control Dante, all that's now compatible with the new uh, update for our product. And then lastly, uh, on the device, when we built this product, we had an Ethernet 2 port on here that we added just for, for future getting it uh, in there. And what the Ethernet 2 port allows you to do is connect a loop through a Dante audio only device, or if you wanted to say connect a laptop 
to it and open up Dante Controller to access your plugin because you wanted to see you know, what's going on with this box or tweak the setting, you know, the crop scale uh, options like I talked about. That's all there. It's not PoE plus like the primary um, input is, so you'll need to you know, have some power for that secondary device there. And uh, that's it. Those are our five new features. We've got the HDR support. We've got crop and scale options. We've got reference in support on the 4K-R. And we now support Dante Domain Manager. And we've got the Ethernet 2 port working on the device. And you can check all this out on AJA.com. Thanks for watching.